Boom. What up, Solar Renekton? Only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Playing some Warwick up in the top lane. Um, I feel like this early game's gonna be hard. Actually, I just wait till the end of his flame spitter and use my Q. I should be able to heal or I'll trade that. What happened that was causing the random DCs? I have a little cable right there. It was like, I don't know, I stepped on it or ran my chair over it or something like that. We replaced it and everything's been good. <laughs> Just took three days and two techs to figure out that it was that cable. The second tech was like, what the heck, the first guy didn't replace this? That's the most obvious thing to do. So. Oh, I'm not going to get that one. Uh, we're going to be pretty passive in the early game here. So a quick run through of what I'm going to be doing with this build and a little bit about Warwick. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing with this build is going for an on-hit build. So your Q, which is our little bite right here, it applies on hit. So our Grasp is an on-hit. We're going to get Blade of the Rune King, Wit's End, Rage Blade, Triforce. We're going to get all the on-hit items. So, and our Q is going to apply it. Once we get somebody below half HP, I just like close my eyes and I win. I don't think they realize what happens. Once you're below 20% HP, it's over. Read what my W does. War gains 70% attack speed when the enemy is below 50% HP. I should back and teleport right now. So I get a ton of attack speed. Look, look, look. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh, I'm good at this game. Come on, son. I'm over here trying to show you guys like a little trick, or not a trick, but how the W works in these jerks. Try and come punish me. Can't believe it. Bunch of meanies. All right, let's teleport back up. Let's get one potion here. All right, nice. Cue that. But yeah, your W gives attack speed and movement speed when your uh, target is below 50% HP. And then the, in addition, when they get below 20%, so that was what you saw at the very end there and what you saw when I was hitting that minion, when they're below 20%, the bonus is tripled. So that means it goes from 70% attack speed to 210% attack speed. That's a little ridiculous. When you add in the fact that your auto attack is doing 16 bonus magic damage right now, it scales up with the game. And that bonus damage is, you know, if I'm below half HP, I get the healing, and that healing is tripled if I'm below uh, 25%. So that's what that healing was at the end. So people, it's very deceptive. They think they have you killed, but you heal so much and you attack so fast that you end up winning those fights really hard. Like the whole goal is to get somebody below half HP. Once you do that, you basically win. Unless you're like 1% health, obviously. This guy's playing pretty well. He's keeping distance actually pretty well. Oh my god! That was the most ridiculous body block ever. I could not move. Okay. That was kind of painful. I have to shove the rest of this wave in. Man! Oh, he should fight me. Yeah, I messed up. He should have all in me right there. I th think I might have won still, because he just... Oh, whoops. I was going to get his plant after this leave now. I think I would have still won there. But it would have been kind of close. Get this. We'll get this. And we'll run back up the lane. Perfect. Yo, FF862, 15 months, man. Welcome back. Bagz28, thanks for something, buddy. Welcome to the Crocodile Crew. Corby3232 two, two, with the seven months, man. Boom, seven months of cannon slaying. Exactly. Keep it up. I will, buddy. The godless one. 11 months, man. Welcome back. Appreciate it. But yeah, so your Q is doing 114 damage plus 8% of your target's max HP. And you're healing for 60% of the damage. But as you go, you heal for even more. So as you finish leveling it. Give him a little love tap. All right. And then your W is, like I said, it's that blood scent. So if anybody's below 50% HP, we get movement speed running toward them. And... Oh!
That was questionable, sir. I understand what you're doing, but the fact that you walked up and used your Q was a massive mistake. I understand what he's going for. He's trying to clear the wave, go back. He has an important buy soon, but that's not the way you want to do it, my man. It's People get greedy on that. I do that play sometimes, too. He's trying to clear the wave with his ult, but his ult's not going to clear the melee minions. He needs, like, a couple ticks of his Q. But I, I know that, so I'm going to go fight you as you walk forward, because you're making a mistake. And the way you win games is you capitalize on any mistakes. Or you play very clean yourself. But playing clean is kind of capitalizing on enemy mistakes too. You know what I mean? Uh, we have a pretty bad buy point. I really... My ideal buy is Sheen first, but... We're not exactly getting the right gold amounts every time we back here. It's okay. We should be able to get 700 by the time we back next. I think. Tag Cross, 165, bitty bomb. Mike, DC one more time for me just for the good times. Hell no, dude. I'm so happy to not be DCing constantly anymore. Ooh, I wonder what he was actually going for. I think he just made a massive mistake. Because, yeah, he died to get an extra potion. Not even, right? Because he would add a little bit, he would add like 60 extra gold. So he would have been able to buy two potions. That was a pretty big mistake. I do that all the time, where I greed for CS, and then I realize after that that CS wasn't even going to get me anything. It's like, oh, that I still would have been able to buy what I wanted to buy. Oh no! Whoops. I messed that up. I wanted to use it to go to the other side. It's alright. We're okay here. I'm all in in a second. Beautiful. Oh yeah. No shield. I feel like I should go right now. No shield. He has no, uh,. Nice flash, dude. Uh, it's painful. Lee Sin's just killing everybody. And I don't have enough gold to buy my item. I'm so sad. I think Mundo wins that. Yep. Yeah. Low HP Mundo is ridiculous. He might just die to Q, though. Ooh, good job. That's a shutdown. That's big. Uh, I did not mean to press that. Whoops. You can use that to run back the lane a little faster. I didn't really... Do that correctly. Luckily, he's low HP, so I can run back to lane faster. You can see where they are without seeing them, by the way. This will follow them through Fog of War. So when he goes off the screen, I'll still be able to see where he is. I wonder if it's worth it to try and go over here. Let's see if I can catch him. There's a chance he's back. Oh, no, he's way far. Never mind. He's way far. It's all right. Man, I screwed up. That's really close. You saw what I was trying to do. I was uh, I was trying to flash over the Lee Sin Q, which I did. But I flashed here, and this guy ended up flashing into the bush, which is very smart. Ooh, I wonder if I win this. I bet I do. Yeah, especially when he misses both, and I fear him the other way. Like I said, man, you get him low, you just win that. I knew I can get him low. And then at this point, what does he do? Because I can heal back up, he can't do anything. And then my passive for my W is up now. The one thing you gotta look out for is your Q does have a high mana cost. So you gotta be a little careful of spending it too much. Part of me just wants to ult him. Like, ult into fear? Do I just kill him? Your ult range gets extended based on how fast you are. That's why the circle looks pretty large right now. And then it shrinks when I don't have the movement speed buff. I'm gonna go over here and get this real quick. What? What are you doing, buddy? What is he building? That's super strange. Uh, I think I'm fine. He did that to go back to mid lane for three CS. That's stupid. I mean, I know his map's winning. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, but... Eh, walk away from that. Your E's a damage reduction, so that's why you see me using it every time he's gonna try and burst me. This time he'll kill it all, he has enough, uh... Damn, that attack speed is wild. 
is enough damage. Go up our E. You get the attack speed to buff off minions too. So as you watch me, once it's below 50%, my attack speed goes up like crazy. You can watch it right here. 2.15. Attack speed cap is 2.5. We're so close to attack speed cap. That's wild. Now, that's the one downside of not rushing a Tiamat on this champion, but we're going for an on hit build. If you want to do it like a top lane build, like a usual one, I would say go your Tiamat first, because then you get really good wave clear. And then after your Tiamat, I kind of just have to leave. This is the downside of not having the good wave clear. Because I can't really, like, I mean, I could, but I'm just kind of asking to get into trouble. My buy points this game have sucked. His have two, though, so I guess we're kind of even in that sense. Uh, let me get a little bit of MR here. I might just upgrade my boots fully. I have to wait 50. Map teleport. Uh, I don't think I can go. Yeah. Alright. I mean TP right now. Buy this. Sweet. Come on. Don't hit it. Nice. Perfect. Get this. Got that. Z. Mundo, Mundo. Got a dragon for us. That's really good. I mean, I don't need that much more gold here. Get my upgrade for my Triforce. My Q is hitting like a truck right now. Really, your level 9 your level 13 are huge level ups for you. Level 13, you have your W max. Level 9, obviously, you have your Q maxed. But this champion scales really hard anyways. Look at that damage, bro. Whew. That was a good shield by him. He timed that really well. I'm dumping mana right now because my E or my Q is a uh, 90 mana. It's quite expensive. Mm, I don't know how badly I want to fight this guy. <laughs> Not very badly at all. My jungle is bot side right now, so I don't have any assist. And they can definitely collapse on me. This guy can ult me from pretty far away. Um, boom, what up? Not much, my man. We chilling. We just chilling. Playing some Warwick. Doing an on-hit build. Relatively slow early lane phase. It really depends what your opponent's giving you. If you get melee matchups... I mean, this is a melee matchup, but... I mean, is it though? <laughs> He's chasing nothing. Good job, team. Double kill. Trying to last hit here. Especially with a melee champion, you can just get grasp procs constantly. Like, I haven't even really talked about grasp this game just because it's a rarity that we're really procking it on this guy. Oh, that's bad. I should just run. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Imagine trying to fight that guy. <laughs> It wasn't even close. He had ultimate and he has double magic resist plus it's Mundo. If you didn't know, Mundo gets 30% extra magic resist just for having his, uh, I believe it's his W, right? His W turned on. Which is kind of ridiculous. 30% extra magic resist when you have two items already and you're a full HP build with healing on top of this and this guy has no heal cut. Good luck, sir. I want to press W here. Okay, that means nobody's around in this giant circle. So that means Lee Sin's not at top camp and he's not at... See, he's bot. That's a nice little thing you can do. It's a long cooldown, so obviously use it sparingly. But we're going to go back to base after we clear this next wave, so it's fine. Because we have our Triforce in base right now. Beautiful. I'm going for all the CS. I don't care about the tower right now. I could potentially have gotten it. Oh, I thought he was going to go for me. I gotta run all the way back now since they see me. Let's go back, get our Triforce. Ramus support, baby. Ramus support. It's terrible. <laughs> I know Alicopter does it. We do it a few times and he played it. He's really good at it though. But it's a hard thing to pull off. You have to be super aggressive. He's good at roaming on the map and finding good timings. Am I gonna build wits? Yep, I'm gonna build wits next item. I don't like to build wits item or wits first item because it's not very good. The way it scales over here, like you do 15 to 80 damage, but 
it scale it starts scaling at level 13. So it's not really very good until like later on. Like mid game item, it's really good. The magic resist is obviously good early game, but only attack speed. But you're just not getting a lot of value out of the on hit yet. Because he roams 24 7. Yeah, helicopter, yeah. He does. And it's really good for roaming. I need to relax with how much mana I'm using. I just like keep hitting Q. I'm using too much mana, take it. Take it. I love this account. I bought all the emotes, they make me so happy. <laughs> oh, I like this play. No way! I was so mad. I think I could have caught him without flashing. I just don't really want to. Don't want to risk him doing anything or me getting outplayed. Just get the kill, secure it, get the tower off of it too. Ooh. Oh, I got a blue buff. That's so good. Yeah, he ulted me. I should have ulted a split second earlier. I was trying to maximize our crowd control because Ramus taunted. Remus knocked up with his Q, then he taunted, then I feared, and then I was going to ultimate after, and then Lee Sin would have never been able to use his character. But, we didn't really do it well. That's a little slow. <laughs> Good luck, dude. <laughs> like, we're just getting to the point where I dominate in that fight, and I was already destroying him at the beginning part. Once we get like half HP and he's half HP, it's over. So if I'm winning that first part of that and I can get him there pretty easily, I mean, what's he gonna do? I didn't even have ult there and he did. I have it now, but I'm just gonna shove in and look for play. <laughs> he didn't get to do anything! The poor guy! <laughs> oh no. I'm moving. I'm trying to get over there. She's using my W to get in range. Like I made a mistake. They have vision all over here. We should just try to get towers. I think we could have gotten top tower. Whew. Not too bad. No! Not the cannon though. You can use E to reduce tower shot damage too. We're just gonna press Q here anyways, so it's fine. Hey! Shelly! Hey man, he's taking all my farm. I think we should leave. Just get one hit. Damn! Did they buff Shelly? I think they did, right? I think they did. She's so good now. I'm gonna stick around. I can farm like one more wave and get uh, my item if I sell Doran's blade or Doran's shield. Just gotta be careful because they could all collapse on me right now when my team's doing dragon. Yeah, let's walk away here. Let's walk away here. We can just wait a little bit. They're gonna have to go answer bot side. We can just keep pushing here. Yep. We're gonna go answer bot side. Just gonna push here. I might even be able to take this tower if they overextend on bot. Send too many people. So right now all they have is Morgana top. Yep, they have everybody in bot side. Shoot it! Time to go. All right, let's back get our item. Looking good, boys. Looking good. Godlike. Me? Thanks. I know. Who is Doran? It's the item. I mean, it's named after somebody. Who is it, actually? I'm pretty sure a lot of those names are for people. Like, the Biscuits were named after, like, Total Biscuit, Athene's Unholy Grail. Like, early... 
I think it was like season one, they had like a whole rewards program. If you like, um, it was like a recruit a friend thing. If you recruited enough people to start playing League of Legends, you got like prizes and stuff. And like back then, Athene was big. Obviously, Total Biscuit was massive back then. There were some issues with Total Biscuit. I think he got enough people to design a character himself and they kind of backed out on that one. Or like help in the design of a character. I don't remember exactly what the rule was or what the uh, prize was. Then there's like, I know Zephyr is a rider, so that I know that. Then there's like, I don't know, there's a few more. There's a few more. Dorn was a blacksmith. Oh, okay. I think I kill this guy very easily right now. Just remember, our Q is going to be applying this as well. So now, now think about when we get low HP. When we get low HP... Oh god, that's just a kill. Hmm... I should break this and go back in, Kappa. <laughs> Whatever. That's exactly what I meant to do. We gotta be kind of careful here. This guy is insanely tanky. Whoops. I got a triple fear there. Man, you crazy, dude. Look at this guy. He's a maniac. Got the fear. Nice little dub. Oh, they surrendered. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. So yeah, you just get a couple more on hits from there, but think about how good we are when we're at low HP. And we're getting our passive, which at that point is like 30 something damage each hit. So our passive is doing 30 something extra damage each auto attack, right? Same thing with the uh, passive effect. I'm definitely giving it to this guy. He was ridiculously good. Well played, sir. And a box. Let's go. So we have this. Wits End is dealing 80 magic damage on hit. And then while you're below half HP, uh, you heal for 33% of the damage this uh, deals, but we're a melee champion, so we heal for 100% of the damage, right? So below half HP, we get our passive, which is healing us for a, a ridiculous amount. We get wit's end, which is healing us for a ridiculous amount. Then ideally what you want to do is have your E for when you're below half HP. So you're getting all these buffs, and then you use your E to reduce like damage you take, so you, you can stay at half HP longer, right? And yeah. Then your, your W is kicking in, where you auto attack like insanely fast. So you're going to have max attack speed with a million on hits, and your Q is also applying even more on hits. Your Q is basically always up to proc this every 1.5 seconds. Between your Q and your E, you should basically be able to have 100% uptime on Triforce. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty good champion. And just the sustain in lane is like, I don't know, it always blows my mind. And then how you turn those fights when people are low HP. Like I said, Grass would have been better if this guy was... Uh, like a true melee champion, like if it was a Renekton or something like that, like someone who's actually going to be in melee range the whole time when we're fighting. This guy could kind of keep distance, so it was kind of a pain, but yeah, normally we'd be able to get a little bit better with the grasp. But yeah, after this, we we're just going to get like Bork and Wit's End. So we'll do Bork when we're against like Renekton or something, right? And then we'll go Wit's End when we're against like a magic damage dealer top. But yeah, so Bork after, then uh, you can get Nash's Tooth and then just Rage Blade was what I was going to do. But yeah. GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. I'll catch you guys then. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream and click that subscribe button up at the top. See if you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. Drop that free sub on the channel right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.